This extraordinary statue is one of the finest known from the Hellenistic era, centuries after the death of Alexander the Great. Since its chance discovery in 1885 in the Grinnell Hill Rome, near the baths of Constantine, where it was probably once displayed, the statue of Oxford Breast has been beloved generations of Romans. But to see the boxer rest in the flesh, and you have to imagine the gleam of his sweaty bronze skin in its original state, will be a revelation to many visitors at the Met. Although the statue looks gorgeous in photographs, two-dimensional images do not do it justice. For this reason, it is all the more special that the boxer at rest has been brought to America for the first time and displayed here in the Metropolitan Museum in celebration of 2013, the year of Italian culture in the United States. We are obviously missing part of the story, but the artist who created the boxer at rest went to great lengths to represent his subject in amazing detail. The boxer has just completed a match. He still wears his boxing gloves, which are of an ancient Greek type used in athletic competitions. Fresh wounds to his head and face are inlaid with copper to great dramatic effect. His bloody, broken nose, cauliflower ears, sunken, scarred lips, and swollen right eye, which was cast in a darker alloy to show its bruised state, made clear his victory was hard won. In antiquity, the rules for boxing and competition differed from those today. A boxer had to face one opponent after another, typically without significant pauses, and blows were dealt primarily to the head and face. The quick turn of the boxer's head, emphasized by drops of inlaid blood that have fallen from his face onto his right thigh and arm, seemed to suggest his next competitor is now approaching. The tension evident in the muscles of his arms and legs make clear that he is ready to spring up and face combat again. The artist has cleverly assimilated the boxer's portrait with famous statues of Pericles by Lysippus, one of the most celebrated and innovative bronze sculptors of the 4th century BC. Like the great mythical strong man of antiquity who successfully competed one impossible labor after another, there is no doubt that our boxer will succeed again despite his battered state. Originally, when the statue was first made sometime between the late 4th and 2nd century BC, it would have been set up as a dedication in commemoration of the athletes' victories in boxing matches, held at religious festivals in honor of the gods, such as the Olympic Games. The amazing preservation of the boxer at rest for centuries after its creation is a miracle in itself and a testament to the long-standing appreciation of art and culture by the ancient Romans, a time-honored tradition that we celebrate this year, the year of Italian culture in the United States. However, there may have been a reason for the statue's safeguarding beyond its outstanding artistic qualities. Parts of the toes and fingers of the boxer at rest are worn from frequent touching in antiquity. It has been suggested that the statue has attributed healing powers, as was known to have occurred with other statues of famous athletes. It is perhaps thanks to its popular veneration that the bronze statue boxer at rest was protected so carefully in late antiquity when the baths of Constantine were destroyed. Imagining the placement of this magnificent statue in a public setting such as the Baths of Constantine allows us a glimpse of one of the many treasures that made Rome the greatest city of the ancient world.